Hey guys, it's Justin Gregg with Drifter Journey here. We are in the Stanley, Idaho area and this video is going to be about our adventure to some lesser known off the beaten path hot springs. Yeah, so we, our current hot spring count is 75 different unique hot springs. Uh, we're trying to hit 100 by the end of the summer. Um, so we're skipping a couple that are pretty obvious here in Stanley. Um, there's three of them within, I would say, two miles of where, eh, three miles of where we are right now downtown. Um, so we're going to hit six of them that are a little further out. Uh, this is probably going to become its own video because it's going to end up giving you a bunch of info. Um, I'll tell you early that you're going to have to probably do a little bit of research to find these though because I'm not just going to blow up the spots. But um, stay tuned, be excited, we're excited. It's always good finding new hot springs. So we're having breakfast here and Jess made a good point. This might be really boring if we don't tell you what these are, where they are, or show you pictures of them. So, we're going to name the ones that are pretty obvious and well known. Um, the lesser known ones for purposes of keeping hot springs open because they do get shut down due to abuse. Um, if you're a hot springer, message us. Uh, we're more than happy to share. We just honestly like to filter a little bit to make sure that we're not just blowing up the spots. Uh, making sure they don't get on Google and don't get shut down. A um, couple things, if you're new to hot springs, don't bring glass. Uh, glass is a no-no with hot springs for sure. Uh, bring tons of water to stay hydrated. Um, we personally don't like dogs in hot springs, so that one I think is kind of back and forth up for debate, but we recommend against dogs in hot springs. Um, and swimsuits, depending on the area, we like to think they are optional. Um, but where we're at here in Idaho, a lot of these are roadside, so obviously cars can see you or there are children around, things of that nature. So uh, that's you know another one you got to be careful with. Um, what I was taught when I started hot springing was, you know, if you show up to a hot spring and there are people there that are nude, it's okay. If you show up to one that everybody has a swimsuit on, um, you can respect that, ask them first. Um, and that one's also up for debate because if you're way out in the backcountry and you get somewhere, uh, example, Conundrum Hot Springs, which requires a permit now. Uh, last couple times I've been up there, it's getting more and more clothed every time. Um, I don't know why, because it's nine miles in and we don't like hiking with wet clothes. Um, but something like that, I'll still ask, but really at that point, we're gonna just kind of do what we need to do because it's uh, definitely a clothing optional place. So ask questions, we're here to help. Stay tuned, good stuff coming. All right, we are close to the first spring here. Um, these are all new to us, so we don't know what type of condition it's gonna be in. Uh, so we brought a couple tools with us. We have a tarp to be able to make a pool if we need to. We got a foldable shovel to dig out some gravel and whatnot if need be. Um, and we also have swimsuits with us for this one. Because as you can see, there are cars going behind us and the spring is like, within eyesight of the road. So, trail's right here. We can go check it out. Okay, so we are there. It's these little pools right down over my shoulder here. This cool rock next to it. And this last little section, kind of hard to get across. Uh, looks like it might be cold with river water, so it didn't say how hot it is and where it comes in, so hopefully it's pretty hot. Otherwise, we might not have a great soak here, but we're going to try and make it work. So Jess says the water coming in is hot, hot. It's hot, hot. 
hot right here. It's freezing right here. <laughs> yeah, so we got some uh, oh, we got a lot of river, water. river water coming in. So, see if we can make it soakable. We added a tarp in here to try and stop the cold river water coming in. We are building up this little wall over here to try and slow down the river water there. And then this is the source water coming in. It's coming in pretty fast and it's really hot. So I think if we can get it to stop flowing in from the top, a little from the side, it'll catch up and be warm enough for us to get a soak in. potential but unfortunately there's just too much of a difference between the hot water coming in and the river water and there's too much river water for us to be able to stop it so unfortunately we're gonna have to move on to the next one I think we could stop it if we really wanted to um, but we have how many more are we trying to hit four or five, five more, more we're trying to hit that are much nicer so yeah. this was just kind of a novelty to see how it was um, it could be really good in the late summer and fall or even a little bit more work it would have been good because uh, it comes in really hot. Yeah. We'll try and remember our thermometer on the next one but I'd say it's coming yeah. in at least 130 degrees here. Agreed. And uh, we found a human bone. It's probably not human though. We don't know. It's probably <laughs> an animal. Another tidbit of hot springs etiquette. Pick up trash when you find it. You guys are in luck. So we are just up the road from the last spot and if you use context clues you can find things pretty easily I think but uh, this one's got a pit toilet and a sign right next to it. We have a feeling it's washed out because uh, it's down on the river but we're gonna go take a peek. So we might be busted again but comes in looking all cool there the river looks to be high again so hopefully we can make it happen we'll find out in a second um, we are leaving cove hot springs also known as chem hot springs um, it was still pretty washed out for the year, but we were able to get in the one pool. It was decent. It was warm. It said, uh, comes out at 133 degrees. So it was plenty warm, just really shallow, kind of, kind of dirty. Um, the next one's actually a warm spring, um, which is good because it's like 80 degrees out right now. Um, we're going to try and see if it's washed out or not, but I have a good feeling that it might be there. This one might require some motorcycle driving to get to though. We had a small change in plans. Um, we were going to go to uh, the warm spring first, um, but got down there and the road was a little nasty, which we knew it was going to. We were going to take the motorcycle there, but we decided to try the other road, which goes to the other hot spring uh, that's supposed to be awesome. At least it looks awesome uh, and the road was in good shape we thought we we're gonna have to take the motorcycle up but we brought the van up um, we found a campsite just down the way some people are leaving we're like seven seven well we're like seven miles in so seven miles in on the gravel road that you just watched if I play it for you and uh, yeah about a quarter mile from the hot spring itself it's on an old mine property, so we are going to go to it, hoping everything's looking good. Update from the people down below said it is, so not closed down. We're excited. I'm actually super stoked on this one. I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, we're probably going to stay here for the evening and come back up again. We are walking the last quarter mile or so to the hot spring. It's along the stream here. We got wildflowers blooming. Um, this used to be the road, I believe it was 1998, it actually flooded and took out everything over here. So 
they didn't put it back in. You gotta walk the last little bit. It actually used to be a full bathhouse up here and uh, it washed away in the flood. There's a little spring right down here. We we're going by. I'll have to uh, check that later. We've remembered our thermometer to check temperatures this time. Okay, so we made it. We are in this sweet little tub. And uh, when we got up here, the temperature was probably, I think we had it, 112 is what we clocked pretty quick on the thermometer. We uh, have since cooled it down. It's hot out today, so we have it down to 101 right now. Um, but we are going to camp up here tonight, not by the hot spring, down the road a little bit. Um, and then we'll come back tonight and heat it up in here more. I'll show you here. Cut her head off, maybe. Cut my head off. But there's just this piping system, kind of rudimentary. Pipes all over down the hillside. Uh, the one coming in over here is the cold one. And then there are several different really hot ones. So it's a pretty cool spot. We're pretty excited about it. actually our third soak in this tub. We came into it twice yesterday um, and we came back this morning it was quite filthy. Um, so good hot springs etiquette uh, would be to you know, clean up a hot spring if you can. Luckily this one has two scrub brushes and a drain plug with it. So we drained it down this morning, gave it a scrub uh, and then refilled it back up. And it fills pretty fast, so really took only, I don't know, 15 minutes uh, to be able to get a nice clean soak. That wraps up our time here at this awesome hot spring. We got two more to go to today um, that looked equally as great. So we're really excited. This one was a win. It's got really good camping near it and a really short hike up. So pretty amazing. The next two look to be awesome too, but they are way off the beaten path. So we'll see how that goes. We're headed over to this next spring. It's actually a warm spring that we were supposed to hit up yesterday and we didn't. Um, we have the full expectation that it's not gonna be any good. Um, but it seems like a good excuse to take the motorcycle down, go for a little ride. Uh, this road we have to go up is about three and a half miles of nastiness. It says it's narrow and rocky. So we're gonna go for a little adventure with limited soaking expectations. Give us a recap on this hot spring. So this is the warm spring, it's right on the same river. Um, you have to pass this hot spring and then cross the river and then drive the motorbike three more miles back up river to find this place. And how hot is it? It's not real hot. Um, it's warmer in the water than it is out, so we're guessing around like 93 maybe. What's the name of this? This is called Bunch Break Warm Spring. So the rafting companies stop here for a lunch break. They do a whole bunch of tables and benches. Um, and they must just stop and hang out for lunch and let people warm their feet up in the spring and hang out for a little bit. Yeah, so in our opinion, probably not worth the sidetrack, but if you're just trying to tick a couple off, quick little jaunt over to it. Okay, so we are 28 miles from the main highway and 
16 of those miles are paved, and the last 12 are gravel. And we got to fill this guy up to get a, self, a nice little soak here. Here's the spring. And they just have it piped down into here. We'll just fill it up and have a nice soak. First impression. Nice. Uh, very hot. Good view. Yeah. So it only probably took, I'd say, less than 10 minutes to fill up. So yeah. I think with this one, with the hot water coming in, it's pretty standard to drain it when you leave. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to enjoy ourselves for a bit. Good morning, everybody. Um, we had a nice soak at this hot spring last night. We kind of wanted to show you how close it is to camp here. I don't know if you can see behind me. It's down on the hill there, but I'm gonna walk you down there. Uh, but yeah, so we soaked last night. Tried to get up early this morning to come down. Didn't really happen. It's probably like 7.30 now, so the sun's not over the ridge yet. It's gonna make for a good morning soak, even though I'm half asleep still. Um, yeah, so the trail down here, I don't think we shot video of these guys yet. Uh, pretty easy, just gotta walk through a couple of rose bushes that are kinda scratchy. And I forgot to put my Luna sandals on. I have my broken flip-flops on, which might become a problem here because it gets steep, but we'll find out. All right, so here is the source. And last little steep hill. Jess is down here filling up the tubs for us. Morning. They should be ready in about five minutes. It'll be about 110 degrees or so. 